Hey guys, Ron from Run On Roading Law, and today we're gonna to be looking at an industrial warehouse property. This is for investment. It's located in Plano, Texas. So if you're interested in investing in industrial warehouse, which is a great asset class, check this video out and stay tuned. More so we're headed to Plano, Texas, which is a suburb just north of Dallas. And this is an area that has seen tremendous growth in the last couple of years. It's really known locally for its great school system. There's a strong Asian Indian population. It's been around for a while, but this is known as the safe suburbs. They've got large, comfortable homes. And this is an industrial property that serves all of the area for for Collin and Dallas County. As far as demographics, what we primarily are going to be looking for is the proximity to a highway. It's located off of a major U.S. highway, 75, as well as cross streets, access from the main roads, and this is for future tenants. I think it's important to understand what this local submarket is and the local demographics in the unfortunate event that this tenant uh, no longer occupies the property. And so all of this research is really just as a backup for worst case scenario. Coming up to the property, this is now split trail. You can see that on the one side we're bordered by train tracks. There's US 75 manufactured homes. We have a nice concrete road. I mean, this is an excellent condition road that can handle heavy trucks. The neighboring uses are all industrial. We have a vacant lot. We've got this landscaping uh, Good Earth company and Sam's Club. So Sam's Club is a huge tenant and they're obviously got a lot of property living earth that's looks like that's the name so we've got a masonry outside not a lot of signage um, definitely something that can be improved a little bit of paving all right guys so we're here and let's take a look just um, so this is their missionary supplies. So this is kind yeah. of, you can see some samples. Right, whether, whether that changes the lease or not, you just have a, a nicer building. Right, and so that's what you're looking at. You've cleaning up the landscaping really just builds goodwill and improves that relationship with the tenant. So we're trying to establish our best practices so that the tenants will work with us and they will they will like us as a, as a reasonable landlord that takes some pride in their property and they won't just skip out on the lease when something better comes along. So you've already seen Sam's Club and the retail other side of the street you have multifamily that's uh, already kind of phased out and ready for the next phase uh, so for us here i think our thought process is that with four acres you're looking at a single wrap style apartment complex which would allow you to get the maximum usage out of it um, and then next to these apartments now is i think you have about 100 acres uh, give or take a farmland that's also going to go towards uh, single family homes It's good though. So he said that's the one that they've been using, but he's like, he's like, he's like, no one upkeeps it, no one's like on top of it. Yeah. It, it's just, th there's an opportunity here. So let's take a look at the lighting, the signage. Yeah, see, you can see the mismatched paint on this building is. And this is a pad, they have like a, a key code pad, so you can have your own access. Broken <laughs> springs. So you see? Around yeah. So this is a pretty typical build construction. You have the open frame. It's not necessarily a traditional distribution warehouse, but it's a a storage space with the uh, I don't know what the truss style is. It's not like a tilt wall. No, it's just open. Yeah. So again, even, even this layout could be optimized. The thing is, 
I don't necessarily at this point, after everything I've seen, I do not want to manage the business and okay. push it to 8K a month. Okay. What I do want to do though is help them and understand if it's worth it to pay for capital improvements See, for them, what, that they we, could charge what rent. we had said was, here's what we'll do, and, and, and again, there's nothing like written in it or anything. We say we definitely want to paint the building. It's a very yeah. minimal cost. It improves the value. It just makes it makes sense, right? Yep. And they're like, okay, it doesn't matter to us. So we definitely want to change the lights. You can see the lights. Like, I mean, you know, it's a pride of ownership, and you just have more value. Um, so how, how many amps? 600 amp you service. What, you know what? If you fix this up, this is going to be our storage wars. You can see this neighbor is maximizing his vertical. It's like. I go all the way to the ceiling. Uh, all right, well, that wraps up the tour. We've looked around at the building, we've looked at the condition, and the main thing is really the opportunity. And in place rents really support the current purchase price, but for the future, we're looking at appreciation and a covered land play. This is really a great deal, and we're excited to make it happen. Thanks, guys. Hit subscribe and smash that like button.